Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a floor plan inside of Excel and this is a very simple to do. Now I did make a video previously showing a few ways that you can do this. However, I found another method that actually works pretty well. And I'm actually going to be showing you two methods today. The first method doesn't require anything else other than Excel. What we're first going to do, we're going to uh, condense these cells down to where they're square so they're easier to manage. Right now you can see that they're kind of rectangles. And how you do that? You need to scroll over until you go far enough that you have a good selection of cells. So I'm going to go to AD right here. I'm going to select, hold down shift and click from AD all the way to A. Right click and go to column width. Now I want to change this number to 1. And as you can see, it has scrunched it up, but they're not quite square yet. They are still rectangles. So from here, what I want to do is I want to select from row 1 all the way down to, say, let's say row 38. Right click over here on the row numbers and go to row height. And I want to change this to 9 and hit enter. And as you can see right here, we now have squares. So using these squares, you can uh, say that these are any dimensions you want. You can have them be feet. You can have them be meters. It's completely up to you. Now, an easy method to create a floor plan, if you're just wanting something quick and dirty, is to go over here and use borders. This is very simple to do. So if you want an outside border, let's say it looks like this. All you have to do is drop that down and go to borders, and you can select whichever border you want. So a thick outside border. There you have it. And if you want to create rooms inside of here, all you have to do is the same thing. Boom. We have a room. We'll have another room right here. And let's make a room over here. Now, if you want to create doorways or walkways, something like that, you can actually create doors by, and I accidentally selected that, you can actually create doors by going down here and going to no border. Just select the area that you don't want any borders at. For instance, that right there. Drop this down and select no borders. And there you've erased it. You can also make a door going down by selecting that range right there where the door is going to be and just selecting which side of the door that it's going to open to. So the left. And as you can see right here, we have a line for a door. Now, this is fine in case you want to, say, print this off and just hand it to somebody and say, hey, look, yeah, this is kind of the general layout. It'll work like that. It'll work as a quick way for you to make a floor plan. But if you actually want to use this in, say, an AutoCAD program or you want to use this in anything other than just a quick demonstration, it's not going to work out for you very well. Now, on the other hand, you can use an add-in that is called Excel Draw. And the version that I have right here is Excel Draw version 5. It's going to be releasing fairly soon in the next couple months. And what Excel Draw does is it turns a Microsoft Excel into a CAD program. You can view, edit, create, and export CAD drawings all using Excel. So if I go over to Sheet 2 right here, you can see a drawing that I've already made up. And I was using these objects right here. And you can have individual coloring for the individual objects, or you can have layer coloring where you just have this certain layer for that color. But this right here is the basic setup of it. You have your basic inputs like you would any other CAD application, your X, Y, your starting points, your endpoints for the X2 and Y2, and then your dimensions. And how I created this, there's two ways that you could do this. If you just want to create, say, another line or something, you can type in the manual coordinates. Like, for instance, let's say I want to make a circle. The circle is going to be at... I'm going to put it in the dead center of this room, which is X of 5, a Y of 10, and I'm going to put the radius at a 2. And by doing this right here, I select that. I'm going to go up to circle, and it'll put a circle that's a little bit off. I think I got my measurements wrong. So yeah, now I have a circle right in the middle of my drawing. If you don't want to go this path of typing it in, you can actually just, and I actually have this copied over here on a blank page, something new in Excel Draw version 5 is the Create or Smart Create option. 
all you have to do is select your stuff and as long as you have named off to the side what it is just hit smart create it'll go down through the list creating all your shapes for you so there you have it a neat feature also in excel draw is the availability to rotate zoom in and you actually use this like you would any other CAD program you can zoom into it you can rotate it and so yeah if I drag this right here you can see that it's rotating in space and I can rotate it around any way that I want you can also do the exact same thing in the 3d graph orientation window right here as you can see you can rotate it anyway and you can do this with objects that are X Y and Z as well it doesn't just have to be flat objects so those are methods of creating a floor plan inside of Microsoft Excel if you have any questions please let me know I'm going to be showing more videos of Excel draw later get to like and subscribe thank you all very much Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of great tech videos and releases. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.